You know, I spoke at a an oncology conference um, yesterday, and I actually met a guy who used to work at Moderna. He left, and he told me his primary job at Moderna was to follow me and see what I was saying and what was critical of Moderna. You know, that was his his primary job. He was hired to keep track of what you were saying about Moderna. That's I right. believe it. Yeah. Now, um, I, you know. There are, you're right, everyone is conflicted with some, right, we have a job, we're employed by the university. Uh, the universities receive money. Every single university gets pharma money practically, right, every single medical center. But the problem is, is when you have a randomized trial or results of a, of a trial and they are being broadcast by the people who are conflicted and you don't know that. And that's what we saw when every person went on the news and said, you know, the babies have to take the Pfizer vaccine. <laughs> right? Everyone was conflicted. Here's an example. So pregnant women were excluded from the original COVID vaccine trials. So to answer the question, should pregnant women get the vaccine, Pfizer launched a big randomized control trial in February of 2021. They mysteriously stopped the trial after 349 women enrolled in the study. There was no explanation given. The investigators never said anything. They should say something, right? They, should, they have a moral duty to speak up. Here we are 18 months later. The results of those 349 women have never been made public. And it didn't really matter for the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology and the CDC. They just recommended it for pregnant women with zero data, and maybe that's why they stopped the study. Maybe they realized, hey, we don't need to convince anyone. The cult has converted the leadership of these specialty organizations in the CDC. We don't need to provide any data. And running a study runs the risk of showing that there may not be a benefit in pregnant women.